Hello everybody. Today I want to show you the new local load function in the Honeycomb software. These, uh, function, this function is uh, mostly designed for airplane aircraft developers uh, so that you as a customer don't have to spend so much time uh, to configure everything on the, uh, on the hardware. So you as a customer just can uh, load up the simulator and go flying and you don't have to take care um, about the configuration in the background. So yes, um, let's get started. Um, a short example, or we will take a, a small example here. Uh, we will uh, make a local profile for a PMDG aircraft. So to do so, we will uh, import a PMDG uh, profile. We can download it from uh, the Aerosoft forum. So we'll take a browser shuttle quadrant. And yes, let's take the 777 um, profile. Hit download. Download, download is done. Then we will import it in the Honeycomb configuration tool. Oh no, that was wrong. Actions, open settings, import profiles, select. Oh. I already downloaded it, so we also can go to the downloads. There we go. Download it shows me that. I've selected a file with one profile in it, select it, import, done. So now we have imported the um, profile for the PNTG777. We have not loaded it yet, so we you can still see that the current active and loaded profile is the default throttle t uh, profile. What we now do is we go to the um, to the uh, path where the um, configurator tool is saved. So here, in my case, it's um, the uh, program programmer programs uh, P3D Honeycomb bin. There's the configuration uh, configurator uh, saved. And then we go into the Honeycomb Profiles folder, and there we have now the new PMDG uh, profile. And now we will copy that one. So copy, and then we will go to the um, place where the airplane is saved. So in my case, for the PMDG, is Lockheed Martin P P3D version 4. Then we go to Sim Objects, Airplanes. There you have all your airplanes. Then we search for PMDG 777. There we go. So next is creating a new directory inside the PMDG 777 folder. So we call it honey comp profiles underscore profiles. Go into that folder, copy the just imported profile. So and then we need to rename it so the um, software can find it. This is a PMDG profile for this throttle, so we have to call it PFC underline throttle config.json. So for the, um, for example, when you have a, a profile for the Honeycomb uh, joke, you have to call it, let's say, I, Copy that again. If you would have a, a, a jog profile, you have to call it AFC 
joke config.json. It's the same like in the um, folder where the, uh, the configurator is stored. You can see it here. This, uh, uh, these are the current active profiles that you also can see here. I select a profile and I save it. It will automatically um, activate and you will find it here. So same name. So now we have a local profile for the PNG 777-200 and we also want to have this in the other 777 models. So I just copy the folder here, copy, then I will go to, into the other directories, 300 model, paste it into that and also into the cargo version. That's it. So now when you fire up your simulator, the software software will use this profile instead of the one you um, have active inside the Honeycomb configuration tool. This makes it much, much easier for you and for the um, aircraft developers uh, so that you can switch between um, air, aircrafts inside the simulator without changing the profiles in the configurator every time. This feature works uh, with uh, P3D, FSX and also um, with Explain. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, stay safe and see you soon.